Hello my friends, welcome to Anna's Violets. If you are new to this channel, I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. So today we're going to talk about Pachira aquatica problems and what may go wrong when you are growing them. So 10 problems. So this one is my smaller one, I would say. I have at the moment three of them. So this one is the smaller one that we decorated for Christmas time. And this one is the bigger one, which is which needs proper braiding. And maybe in my next video, I will be telling you how to continue braiding this plant. So if you would like to subscribe to see that video as well. But these are thriving and now we have winter, but of course inside it's really warm and they are thriving. And I have another one. Let me show you. So this one you can see that it's not really healthy, it's not happy and it has definitely some problems. Well, three out of six um, stems are dead and I removed them and I swapped these plants. If you would see, I would like to see how I was like repotting or trying to save it, you can watch the video later here. And yes, so let's jump straight into the mistakes and how to save our money tree plants. Well, mistake number one, if you are growing your money tree plants or money trees in pots without holes, just like, just like this, the money tree needs to stay well drained. So whenever you water it, you need to make sure that the water is drained from the, from the pots. So make sure that your pots have holes. So here I have, I'm, I'm growing this plant actually, oops. <laughs> So this plant I'm growing actually in a plastic pot like this, which has holes, of course has holes. Oh, the seed, the roots are growing uh, outside of the pot already. Uh, and then I put it in a ceramic pot. This is how I'm growing this one. And of course the rest, uh, all others also have holes in their pots. Mistake number two, if you choose a big pot for your money tree plant, you need to make sure that the plant is good enough, the size is good enough for your money plant, but not, don't choose too big one because you will be watering, the soil will be staying moist for like forever, for a long period of time, and this will cause root rot. So this mistake uh, I really made myself when I was transplanting, repotting my money tree, uh, my Pachira aquatica for the first time and I lost the tree because I overwatered it in winter. And this leads us to mistake number three, overwatering. Doesn't matter if your pot is small, average or big one, you can still overwater it. So make sure that you water it enough for the first time and then you, le you let the soil completely dry before the next watering. So let the soil dry, don't be afraid, nothing will happen with your, uh, with your Pakira because these stems contain a lot of uh, water so it will not be suffering a lot if you don't water it for a week or maybe even two depending on your conditions. Mistake number four, if you are watering your Pachira aquatica, pouring the water on the stems and not on the soil. If the stems are always wet, they, if they stay always moist, the stems may get rotten as well. And of course this may cause root rot and stem rot and you will lose your plant. Mistake number five is low light. So these plants do not like, of course, very bright sunlight, direct sunlight, but they do need bright light. So try to make sure that you grow your plant closer to the window, but not under direct burning, scorching sunlight. So make sure that it's not in the shade and then it will grow so fast and it will not be leggy. And of course, another mistake that you can already guess, if you are growing it outside, for example, outdoors or in, even inside, but under direct sunlight. So if it's in your south facing window where you know that you have direct sunlight that can burn the plant, it, it may not be the best place for this plant. So try to experiment a little bit and see uh, how your plant feels and then move accordingly. So try to make sure that it doesn't see too much direct sunlight, but also it's not in the shade. Mistake number seven, if you are growing your Pachira aquatica in a cold place, like let's say in, in autumn or in the winter, it sometimes loses the leaves, it drops the leaves and that's absolutely fine and normal, but make sure that it's not staying in a very cold room where, for example, or if it's closer to the window that the leaves are not touching the cold glass of the windows because this may cause actually problems for, for your plants. So make sure that even in winter you make sure that it's growing in a warm place. 
Mistake number eight. If you are growing your Pachyria aquatica in a warm place in winter, but you don't water it. If they are in a warm place, they will be growing, even though the growth will be slower than, for example, in spring and summer. But you need to make sure that you still take care of it, that you still water it. Not too much, of course, but make sure that you still remember to water it. Mistake number nine, if the soil of your Pachyria aquatica is always too dry. Now, this can also cause problems. Because the next time you water it, if the soil is too dry, it kind of is not fluffy enough. And when you water, the water will go through the... Uh, not through the soil, but it will go between the soil and the pots and will go out from the holes. And this way you may think that you water the plant, but in reality the soil didn't get the moisture, didn't absorb the moisture and therefore the roots of your plant will not have access to water. So it's not really watering. Mistake number 10, the wrong type of soil. So if your soil it has some clay parts or it's very heavy, this can also cause root rot because the moisture when you water will stay longer and of course the air ventilation will not be good. So make sure that you choose the right soil for the Pachyria aquatica for the money tree. And if you would like to know my recipe for the soil for Pachyria aquatica, watch this video here and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell button Share the video with your friends and write all your comments down in the comment section in the video and I will be very happy to talk to you later. See you.